time to talk about denim. It is long overdue and I'm excited because it's perfect that Mott and Bo sent me a pair of jeans that I can review and give you my thoughts on the value of them and also the quality, okay? I do want to show you the jeans. I also want to talk a little bit about the history of denim and jeans specifically. And of course, go over this amazing company, Mott & Bow, that I'm, spoiler alert, I'm pretty impressed with. Now, first, my name is Timothy Sands, and this is Fashionable Father. If you're one of the lucky early subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new here, I present content to inspire men to present their best selves. If that intrigues you, subscribe if you're so inclined. Now about these Mott & Bow jeans. First of all, as I said before, thoroughly impressed. Thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Now, a little bit about jeans. Levi Strauss actually patented the first pair of jeans in 1873. That's right, almost 150 years ago. Does that, does it even make sense? Now, of course, jeans have been around for that long, but they didn't really get popular until the 1950s. Impressive to think that we have something around for that long in modern fashion. It's pretty remarkable. I've, I did a video earlier this year and about how the history of, of fashion and how I was surprised that a trend would last for almost a century. Was it a century? Yeah, a century. And so... Okay, hold on. If we could date it back to when they became trendy and a fashion statement, it was 1950s. And so we at 50 plus another 20. So that's 70 years of it being high fashion. Interesting, right? So denim had been around for quite a while. Like in the middle of the 1800s, I think um, somewhere in France, it was like denim's. Uh, that's where they found or they created the material. Well, it wasn't until 1873 that obviously Levi Strauss made the patent. And what he did is he put rivets in the areas that would be most stressed out in the work environment. So that is what was actually created in that time and has lasted for this long. No matter who you are, you have a pair of jeans. And I'm always envious of the people that can make it look so good. And I'm always on the search for that specific fit and that specific jean that makes me look good and that I can wear and feel comfortable wearing. I think something else about jeans that obviously for me is very inspiring is it's very much a vocation type fashion. It does, you know, evoke work. It evokes someone who is not trying to look like they belong in an office. They literally belong in the work environment, casual, gritty. You can make them dirty. Obviously, one of the hugest aspects of fashion is putting holes in them and making them look faded. Okay, so there are obviously two important factors when it comes to jeans, and we know that that is fit and it is dye. Now, fit, I feel like, is something that should be very specific to you, not trendy. I think that was the debacle of skinny jeans because a lot of people should not have worn skinny jeans. And if you're just trying to fit with the latest trend as far as fit is concerned, then I think you're gonna lose. Find pairs of jeans that work for you and your body type that make you look good. That's the key. Now, the second aspect is the dye. And I, of course, you can get trendy with the dye. Whatever the latest trend is, if you wanna jump on that, go ahead. This is something too that maybe there's a third aspect where I think you should have a vision when it comes to what kind of pair of jeans you want to wear and also know that it doesn't have to be the latest trend. If you like this look, if you want to go with this certain specific feel, run with it. You do not have to be with the latest, uh, hottest thing. If you like holes in your jeans, put some holes in your jeans. If you don't, you don't have to, right? So without further ado, I do want to show you how I want to rock the jeans and how I would wear them with specific shoes and also kind of my vision for the dyes I got and also the fit that I got. So the first look I went with was of course the linen. Please excuse the wrinkles. I just think the linen should be wrinkled. Now this dark blue rinse is actually is the olive rinse from Mountain Bow. I went with the slim fit, not the skinny fit, and they also have a straight fit. 
Now I like dark blue jeans because you can go with a kind of a classier look and you can kind of dress them up, but also you can dress them down. A Henley always goes well with any jeans, of course. And it kind of dresses these down a little bit. And even better, that's right, Chelsea boots, a little bit of cuff. And of course that contrast looks really good, especially with darker jeans. That's right, the quintessential t-shirt and jeans going with that light blue fade. These are the Benson dye. And yeah, of course, a little bit of a roll makes it look that, that much more classic, which is a really cool look. Now, if you wanna go even more classic, that's right. The old school Barracuda jacket. That is not Barracuda. That is an American Apparel knockoff. But you gotta love that look. Especially with those vintage shoes. Bringing it back to a different time. So as you can tell, these are a high quality jean. Now the philosophy of Mott and Bow is the fact that they're making basically $200 price point jeans, and they're coming in at about a buck 18, a buck 20, I think right around there. And I have to admit, my price point for jeans is usually around like 80 to $100. So this is right in my price range, but um, I do feel like this is a step up from the normal jeans that I'm used to wearing. The quality is there, and they are very nice, very nice. Now, um, if you go on their website, there's a bunch of different dyes and there's a bunch of different fits. I will say I'm impressed with this company. The guy who founded it is name his name is Alejandro Chachin. Chahin. Yeah, Alejandro Chahin. He's from Honduras. The jeans are made in Honduras, designed in New York. So I think he spent a lot of his time in New York and found out that he could find this, you know, niche. I do have some stuff coming up in future videos, so look out for that as far as it's coming from Mountain Bow. But uh, again, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this review. So if you've been watching the video this long, throw me a like. It helps with the algorithm. And my name is Timothy Sands. This is my story of fashion and fatherhood. Also, if you like this video, you can watch this video right here. This has to do with my vintage shoes that I'm recommending this spring. Take a look at that. I think you'll enjoy it. And always remember, never forget, style first. All right, see you on the flip side.